Shalom, Israel. All praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the elect men doing his work in truth and in sincerity. This is an article on BBC.com titled Venezuela Opposition Says Petition to Aus Maduro is Validated. Venezuela's opposition leaders say they have validated enough signatures on a petition to move to the next stage in a process to remove President Nicolas Maduro in a recall referendum. Hundreds of thousands of Venezuelans have given fingerprints to authenticate signatures on the petition. And that's, you know, that's a, uh, that's a sign right there that they're trying to push that chip, man. This goes to show, man, because it says they have given fingerprints to authenticate signatures on the petition. Now, what's wrong with a basic, you know, signature, you know, what's wrong with a basic signature on, on a paper? You know how normally you got lists, they got a list or whatever, and you sign the paper, whatever. But it says they give have given fingerprints to authenticate signatures on a petition. Referendum coordinator Vincent Bello said the number of signatures had clearly exceeded the minimum needed. So right, man, this goes to show what this 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 petition goes to show, you know, it, it, it serves as, as twofold. Not just take President Nicolas Maduro out of office. But at the same time, they want to see how many of them Asherites over there, and how many of them Asherites over there is willing to take that chip, man. And it says clearly exceeded the minimum number needed, man. It's going to show how many people was going to um, bow down to that chip. The process must now be validated by the electoral officials. If that step is passed, a second petition must be signed by 4 million people before a recall referendum can be held. So at the, at the same time, they're going to um, push that... You know, push that uh, fingerprinting again, man. Really trying to uh, push that in the minds of the people to take that chip. All right. It says the opposition blames Mr. Maduro's socialist policies for rampant inflation and shortages of the food and basic goods. So the reason why they're taking that chip is because basically to turn things around, man. The re that's what the reason. That's slot it. They're not taking a chip right now, but they are using a fingerprint. But we know that's. You know, through the spirit that it's gonna go into the taking of taking to lock it, going into the taking of the RFID chip. So it says the opposition blames Mr. Maduro's socialist policies for rampant inflation and shortages of the food and basic goods, man. So at the same time, Esau's pushing his problem reaction solution by you know saying, you know, it's a problem, you know, it's food shortages, you know, it's Mr. M President Maduro's fault. But, you know, the reaction to it is the people going crazy and the solution is you got to take this chip, man. You got to take, take this chip for everything to go back to normal, for you to eat, you know, for your family to be doing better, man. Because, you know, if you know anything about that situation over there in, in Venezuela, it's real bad, man. There's rampant inflation and food and shortages of food and basic goods. So, you know, from food, you know, you got your steak, you know, your chicken, all the way down to short, uh, basic goods, man, as far as toilet paper. You know, running water, hot running water. The initial petition handed in on May 2nd gathered almost 2 million signatures. All right, I'm going to skip to those who signed the petition had until Friday to have their identity cards and fingerprints checked in centers set up by National Electoral Council. Electoral Council. Then you see pictures. All right, fingerprints were taken using electronic scanners. Now I'm going to go down. Uh, many people quit for hours to have their signatures authenticated by electronic fingerprinting. All right. Prices are going up every day on top of the shortages, says civil servant Felix Rodriguez, who skipped work to give his signature. He said he had no flour, milk, or meat in his kitchen, and there were no spare parts to repair his car. So, right, man, this, this goes to show you how Esau is trying to give image to that beast, man. All right, and with that, I want to get um, Revelations chapter 13, verse 16, 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, man. And how do we see that? By him basically pushing that uh, fingerprint, that fingerprint scanning to authenticate your vote, man. All right, and you know people want to get President Nicholas Maduro out of there, man, because... You know, the least got it set up that way. All right, we're going to blame Nicholas Maduro, you know, for fucking this place up. In which case, you know, people want to 
do whatever it takes to 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 restore order, so called restore order back in this place. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, man. And it's and it's speaking right now, man. All right. Like I said before, why would why would they be using fingerprint? Why they can't just use you know regular uh, basic signing as far as a uh, petition goes, man? And cause that as many as would not worship the beast should be killed, man. And you think for one second that Jake gonna allow you know a ash right over there is gonna allow another ash right to not fucking uh petition, you know for a so called better life for food, you know for uh basic goods, they gonna kill his ass, man. And at the same time, Esau going to kill your ass if you don't take the chip neither, man. So it says that many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in his right hand or in their foreheads. So right, man, you see that because in Venezuela, that's just a test run. But at the same time, we know, you know, we see the shit that's happening over here in America. You know, it's even sites that's coming out. As far as, you know, things, how Venezuela went down, that's the same path America is going under. So, you know, quite naturally, that's the same shit that's going to happen here in America. So they say he call all, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand on their foreheads, man. So soon enough, everywhere you look, man, soon enough, everywhere you look, what? Soon enough, everywhere you look, you know, it's going to be mass chaos. Mass uh, killings, all that stuff going on as, as far as, you know, as as it's going on in Venezuela, it's going to be going on throughout the whole entire world, man. Which will call all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Showing you how what, man? At the same time, they're they going to put that chip in you. What, so that you may buy basic goods? And um and food and everything like that, you know, to restore, re restore so-called order. All right. So with that, little willing. Till next time, you know, little willing brothers edified. Shalom, Akim.